Remember, guys, green technology is great for the environment. So much so that, um, you know, all these wonderful new, slightly used or never used EVs are being carted around to be destroyed on trucks. <laughs> Lots of them. And they've all been licensed, fully licensed and registered. And you see those plates on the back. Those are the electric vehicle plates. Oh, yeah, sorry. the same clip. No, yeah, this is just, I thought it would be like a nice little addition. Oh, okay. Because remember, China's the leader in producing EVs. And the reason they're the leader in producing EVs is because they made a lot. Not, you know, it's literally that. It's like, here's a huge number. Yeah. So we're the leader. Right. And they produced a ton under subsidies and tricks and loopholes and things. Oh. And the majority of those cars that were produced to create these large numbers, and I'm being honest here when I say the majority, especially the Gen 1 and the very early generations of Chinese EVs, were just left to rot, not used, and are scrap. And like what you can see on the back, these cars are all perfectly fine. They could absolutely have been just reused or sold or whatever, but because that would screw up, with, screw up the um, scam, uh. they have to just be destroyed. Because think about it, right? They're all registered. So the yeah. companies that got the subsidies from the government, they got subsidies because for every car sold, they'd be paid. Yeah. So they fraudulently, many companies fraudulently uh, registered these vehicles. So if they were to try and sell them, the game, the game would be up. What a, what a waste. I know. So what not only do you have waste. fields of these things rotting away, now you can start to see, you know, just more of them being carted away to be destroyed. I have a uh, mm -hmm. report from Gary McBride here. Yeah. Uh, this is from Unsatisfied Popeye. Unsatisfied Popeye <laughs> says this is misinformation. Those are gas. <laughs> That's yeah. the whole thing. Exactly. Unfortunately, the green license plate gives it away. And the yeah. fact that the cars, they have a prop shaft tunnel underneath, but there's yeah. no prop shaft because there's no gasoline engine also gives it away. Because don't yeah. forget, most Chinese EVs until mm -hmm. very recently, this new generation of NEOs and BYDs, the majority of Chinese EVs are just a gasoline car that they converted. Yes. So they've got the factory. They pump. They can pump out a, a shell and a mm -hmm. chassis and everything, mm -hmm. and they just put a, a battery and an a electric motor in it, you know? Yeah. Anyway, um, I did want to quickly... Okay, it doesn't matter where it is. Here's the thing. I, I wanted to just um, talk a little bit about EVs for just a short amount of time here. Okay. Um, and the reason is, is that um, the Chinese statistics themselves coming out of China um, have proven, well, state anyway, that there are a huge amount of EV fires, something like uh, seven EV fires a day. Wow. I believe it is. Per day. Yeah. Um, uh Yeah, that's right. So, it and it's, Yeah. About seven EVs, but now look, that does include that includes like other electric vehicles, so like e-bikes and stuff. It's also from the Chinese state. It's from the Chinese, but even from the Chinese state, which yeah, down which high. downplays yeah. the number seven EV fires. And if you read the Chinese literature, EVs in China are more likely to catch fire uh, than c traditional internal combustion engines, and it's usually the other way around. Yeah, you yeah. know, if you look at statistics in the United States, it'll be like you know normal gas cars are prone to catch fire more than EVs. But yeah. you know why? Because there's less. Yeah, because there's just more gas yeah. cars around. That's what I mean. Right now in China, they pushed it so hard that there's more EVs around mm -hmm. than gas cars in many of the big cities. And yeah. so we're seeing... The, Obviously not by total. Just yeah, like yeah, in, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, 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 in general, areas, like yeah. in certain areas, like a lot more than in the West. Right? Absolutely. So you're mm -hmm. seeing more fire. So I just wanted to bring that up. You know, it's something to watch out for. Uh, the EV thing is not all roses, and it's not great for the environment. EVs like are blown up. Things. Yeah, they are. <laughs> oh, boy, I don't know why I yeah. just laughed at my own joke. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it was funny. <laughs> now, the, the whole EV push from China, like, just remember, guys, when you see a shiny BYD that's rolling out in your country out of a, a dealership or whatever, remember the cost to the, the environment and the wasted materials and the uh, uh, absolute honestly, destruction. Any, any EV. Yeah, but I'm getting to the point where I've done an, I've been looking into it. It's mm -hmm. pretty bad, dude. Sure. The sheer devastation to the environment. Yeah, I mean, we all know that the like mining for lithium. Nobody and all wants that's to talk bad. about it though. I shouldn't yeah. say nobody. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's well covered, but like it's one of those things where people like they, if they if they're super pro EV, like because mm -hmm. I could go either way to be honest, depending sure. on how this goes. Yeah. 
but right now it's tough because I feel like a lot of the people that are really promoting it, and this is, I'm sorry if this is off topic, but they really don't want to hear that side of it. No, they don't want to hear the bad uh, no. impact to the environment side. And China's EVs, which, as we all know, world leader because of the numbers, the amount of devastation to the environment, <laughs> you know, <Yeah>. exactly. <laughs> you know, you if you look at just all the empirical evidence and the rotting fields of EVs and the, the EVs being destroyed and the huge amount of waste that was involved, the, the amount of d damage to the environment just to produce those vehicles yeah, is it's insurmountable. Yeah. Okay. A comic relief here. Uh, well, that's one <laughs> less fishing boat that can go terrorize there are, there the There are world. a few fish out there celebrating right like, now. Yeah. yeah, like with their <laughs> fins <jumping>. there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we thought we'd show you what people like to do for fun in the... Um, just, Rural country. Can we be upfront about why we're showing this clip? <laughs> wow. Hashtag the, the sky, sky don't, don't lie. lie. Anyway, everybody's got to have fun. It's an itch. <laughs> Everybody, yeah, have fun tonight. Yeah. Dude's a branch manager. <laughs> he is a branch manager. It does look fun. Though. I think he's going to branch off into other activities. <laughs> It looks fun, though. Yeah, that does look fun. Do you see someone gulu gulu gun <laughs> Yeah, yeah somebody, somebody went for a, a little roll down the hill over there. Uh, yeah. I, I'll teach you a fun fun little uh, colloquial Chinese sound is to roll. You know, we say like maybe look... Like, yeah, something. In Chinese, it's gulu gulu gulu. Yeah, gulu gulu. Gulu gulu gun means you're rolling down. You're rolling yeah, down. Yeah, exactly. By the way, before he starts... <laughs> Three times. <laughs> uh, you gotta add mud. You gotta add water. <laughs> what is this? this is like supposed to be a TED talk, right? Yeah. No. <laughs> I like it. I like how everyone's emotional. You have to try or you die, die trying. trying. <laughs> it's okay. It's it. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Take a breath, you fill up my lungs. Yeah. And if my mind.